And the federal government has released guidelines ahead of the planned resumption of schools at every level in the country, but failed to disclose the dates. The guidelines outline actions, measures and requirements needed for the safe reopening of schools after the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the guidelines released by the Federal Minister of Education in Abuja on Monday, the safe distancing measures in the new guidelines require that in schools and other learning facilities, learners should be supported to stay two meters apart. The guidelines, which were signed by the Minister of Education at Damo, Adamu and the Minister of State Chukwemeka Wadriba was developed in collaboration with the Federal Minister of Environment, Federal Minister of Health and Health Safety Experts in the country. The guidelines dealt extensively on equitable plans for school reopening and operations, focusing on attendance, social distancing, hygiene, cleaning, and non-pharmaceutical interventions for safe and healthy school activities and programs. It said the guidelines also highlight the urgent need to maintain and improve upon distance learning programs. Back and now joining us live is the President, National Association of Proprietors of Private Schools, Yomi Otubela. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. The Minister of State for Education, uh, Chikwemeka Wanjuba, on Monday clarified that the decision not to reopen the country's 104 unity schools for the exam is not binding on the state governments. Days after Adamu Adamu said the complete opposite. What is your quick reaction to the seeming contradictory messages coming from the Federal Ministry of Education? Um, it is quite shocking to us when we got the news in our association, National Association of Operators of Private Schools. We received the news with shock because we were at a meeting held by the Ministry of Education and presided by the Minister of State for Education on Tuesday, 7th of July. And we have in attendance various commissioner of education in all over the state of the Federation. We also have in attendance major examination bodies in the country like West Africa Examination Council, WAIC, National Examination Council, NECO, and of course, NAPTEP. We discuss extensively about the children returning to school before the date of examinations announced by Federal Ministry of Education. And the popular opinion there was that the children should come to school on time so that they can be engaged in revision classes. So we left the meeting with the understanding that all stakeholders will begin to go to their different schools and put it in right perspective with the guidelines that is available for safe the safe reopening of school. So when we heard that news, we put calls through to West Service Ethnic Council to know their position based on the ministry announcement. Unfortunately, the head of West Africa Examination Council could not um, take any position at that time, as he responded that um, since the Honorable Minister has spoken, they don't have any statement to offer for now until further notice. We equally made a call through to the Ministry of Education and all staff could not also attend to this uh, question as they were said not to have the authority to speak. Then we took a position in our association that all members of our association are ready. We have equipped with our schools with all the safety measures I must say here that there is no none of the safety measures that is not affordable and not uh, easy for us to get. Don't forget we are coming out of an experience with the Ebola virus. Yeah. And some of these safety measures used then are still useful okay. during this um, COVID-19. Yeah. So, so it means safety that you... Safety measures like um, wash hand basin, hand sanitizer, infrared thermometer, were those things we use then, and I still use okay. in our school as at now. Okay, sir. So the, the, the House of Representatives has, has also called on President Buhari to order the partial reopening of schools. Um, do you think the president will go against the advice of his ministers, despite the mixed messages coming from them? What do you expect that would happen? If you had listened to the speech of the Minister of State a few days ago, there is a shift in the position of the Minister of Education. Because the Minister of State had further said that we misquoted 
when I use the word we, I mean Nigerians now, misquoted the word of the minister. That the minister had not said that school will not write the examination. He is only worried about when the children will go back to school. So if we put all this information together, I'm sure that as of today, the Ministry of Education is not against Nigerian children writing the examination. They are only worried about the safety reopening of school before the date of the examination. I'm sure that um, we we'll harmonize all differences yeah. and Nigerian children will participate in the West Africa examination slated for August 4th by Gregory's. Okay, uh, President of the National Association of Proprietors of Private Schools, Yomi Otubela, in a virtual news conference, you know, also said that, you know, you also said that you would vouch for uh, your association members and they are 100% ready. Um, is this enough? I mean, is, is your recommendation enough uh, for uh, reopening? Um, it takes not our recommendation alone that is in place here. Uh, you remember that in a virtual press briefing, we said there are different training and enlightenment program that is already ongoing among the stakeholders in education, including teachers from private schools, school owners, and um, of course parents and the neighbor. We also are telling you that the federal government had come up with um, uh, safety guidelines and protocols. These we have also put in place in all our member schools without exception. I must say that um, in Nigeria here, or your state government has announced reopening for some uh, weeks ago, and school indeed reopened two weeks ago in your state. And parents, children, teachers, and all other stakeholders have been very happy and pleased with safety measures put in place in schools. Our children are very enthusiastic to return back to school, and there has never been recorded of any positive case within the school environment since or your state reopened schools in recent time. So also in other clan in the world, in Sweden, Denmark, and United Kingdom, we have seen school reopened, and school has indeed safely reopened. We are sure that with fixed reopening of school, I mean, the transitional classes alone reopening now, the school will be big enough to space and observe the children with physical distancing. Okay. And we can study that for the next two, three, four weeks. Then we take further decision with government in allowing the other children to go back to school. Okay, and, and quickly, so we can also let you go, what, what are some of the yardsticks with which you feel parents can evaluate the preparedness of these private schools to open during this pandemic? Yes, very intelligent questions, I must say, you have just asked. Many of our schools, we have encouraged the uh, school owners and parents to pay visit to this school to see the extent of preparation in terms of the classroom arrangement and the population per school, in terms of ventilation in these schools, in terms of how prepared their sick bay is, in terms of the wash and bathing and enlightenment posters on conspicuous places. So with PTA executive, parent teacher executive, to visit to further evaluate this will uh, put confidence in the mind of the rest of the parents. Don't forget that regulation of schools, especially private schools, is in the hand of various ministries of education in the states of the Federation. And there is a department in the Ministry of Education which is called Quality Assurance Department. They have the statutory role of regulating the school operations. So we expect them to go out to begin to inspect schools and get their preparedness. Okay. I'm sure in our association, National Association of Proprietors of Private Schools, we are more than ready. Thank you very much uh, for joining us um, in this conversation. Uh, and of course, uh, we'll, we'll definitely be speaking with you again. You're welcome.